Have you ever been photographing a scene and you look at it and wonder, is that gonna look good when I crop it for Instagram? Or you're wondering maybe is that thing on the side, is that actually gonna be in the frame when I crop it? This tutorial is for you. This is part two of a three-part series all about my favorite tools inside of Capture One, which is a photo editing and tethering software. Now, if you are brand new to Capture One and you wanna try it out, there is a 30-day free trial that they offer that we've linked over on the blog that you can find linked down below. I I also have my getting started in Capture One introduction to help get you familiarized with the interface and where to find all the basic tools also linked down below. So before we dig into the actual tool that we're gonna use to solve this problem of cropping, it helps to understand the concept of an aspect ratio. So the aspect ratio of an image is the ratio of the width to the height, which is represented by two numbers separated by a colon. For example, a square image is a one to one aspect ratio ratio because its long edge and its short edge are equal in length, one to one. Where something intended to be displayed full screen on a cell phone is displayed at a nine to 16 aspect ratio. We've got a one to one aspect ratio, which is a square, and then the popular for Instagram feed four to five aspect ratio. And at a glance, they look very similar. But on a closer inspection, the one to one is perfectly square because the vertical and horizontal sides are equal, where the four to five has a slightly vertical orientation. It's a little bit taller because the vertical side has a slightly longer horizontal side by a ratio of four to five. But let's go ahead and compare another combination. Now, one thing to note is simply because the numbers get larger, that doesn't indicate a specific shape that it's gonna be particularly tall or wide because we're working in ratios. What's more important is understanding that there is a relationship between the two numbers. Here you can see, for example, the eight to 10 ratio ratio versus the nine to 16. Well, the eight to 10, if we do a little bit of math, if you divide both of those numbers, the eight and the 10 by two, we actually get four to five, right? We already saw that in the previous illustration, which is nearly square, but not quite as we've established. But then you have the nine by 16, the nine to 16, the long edge is nearly double the short edge for a long skinny aspect ratio. But now here's where things get a little tricky for us because our DSLR and our mirrorless cameras by default should shoot in a two to three aspect ratio. Just take a shot, look at it, and you can see two on one side and three on the other. But what if the image is being used somewhere that it is gonna be cropped to a different aspect ratio than two by three? And not only that, but in this digital age, when we're trying to multi-purpose our images, that one image may be used in multiple different places that require multiple different sizes and aspect ratios. For example, I have a client who displays the images on her website in the four to five aspect ratio. But then those same exact images she's using on social media and cropping them to a one by one square aspect ratio. So I wanna make sure that when I am capturing the images that that image will look nice, both cropped as a four to five aspect ratio as well as a one to one. Well, the solution here that makes my life infinitely easier that I'm gonna give you some helpful tools for is the overlay tool inside of Capture One. Now you will need to be shooting tethered for this to work. And so if you are brand new to tethering or you're not sure where to start, I have a getting started basics video linked down below. Go check out that video and then come on back here and dive down the rabbit hole with us. All right, so now you ready to dive in? Let's get into the overlay tool. So very first place you wanna start is there is a link down below over to our blog where you can download the crop guides that I've provided for you. These are custom made just for you and me so we can have some fun here together today. So once you open up that folder, you'll see I've included seven different transparent PNG files that represent the most commonly used aspect ratios that I utilize for my clients and my own work. We've got a square crop, so that one-to-one, as the four by five, which is frequently used on social media and other websites. I've also got horizontal versions of everything. And then also the all important nine by 16, which we use for displaying on cell phones. There's also an all aspect ratios for both the horizontal and the vertical orientation. So you can see all the crops all at once. You can see the four by five, the one by one and the nine by 16 all over one image together. So if you need to multi-purpose an image, you can see how everything is gonna lay out. So once you've got 
those downloaded, hopping over into Capture One, we're here in the tethering menu and we come down into the overlay panel. And this is where we're gonna load in those crop guides that you just downloaded. So you come in now to file and we're gonna choose the file. You can see I've already loaded some of those in. The way you do that is just hit choose and then you can select any one of those crop guides that we have just downloaded. Again, make sure to find the folder where you saved that to, most likely to your desktop or your downloads folder. And then hop over into, I'm gonna select the vertical all aspects to load in. And now what we can do is, let's go ahead and take a picture. You can see that's come into the view. And now, because the show feature is turned on, we can see that overlay over top of our image. We can see exactly what it's gonna look like in terms of this outer line is our nine by 16. The next one down is our four by five. And the next one down is the one by one, that square. Now we could jump into looking at it as the individual aspect ratios. For example, here's the four by five, and here is the square. And then we also have the nine by 16 as their individual aspect ratios. And so if you were capturing something, for example, to be displayed as maybe the background on your phone, you would wanna select that nine by 16 and make sure everything you wanted was in the frame. Now you might wanna move this around, in which case you just select this little hand tool right here, as long as that is activated and highlighted, which you know it's highlighted because it's orange, I can just come in here and move this around. You can also just hit the H key, that also activates that moving your crop overlay tool. And then if you just wanna go back to the regular cursor tool, you just hit V and that takes you back to your regular cursor. You can also resize the crop guide by also again hitting that H tool and then you just come out here to the edge where you get these arrows and you can pull them in, pull them out to again get a different sense of maybe if this image was cropped differently, knowing again what's in the frame and what's out of frame or coming in and making a decision to adjust something. For example, in this nine by 16 aspect ratio, I may say, oh, I actually want the salt to be a little further down the frame. How's that gonna look? Let's readjust that, fire off the shot. Oh, and I like it down there in the corner. So now that's helpful to see it here over the images we've already captured what these crops are gonna look like, but it's even more powerful to look at it in the live view mode. This is where the real power, where the rubber hits the road. So if we go ahead and open up our live view by selecting that little camera menu, and this is actually a live feed of what my camera is seeing right now. So if I come in here, you can see we can activate the overlay. You can see that it's just like the overlay menu that we have over in the editing panel that we have it here in the live view as well and I can go ahead and select that hand tool once again and adjust the 9 by 16 or maybe I say mm, this time I want to go with the 4 by 5 let's select that 4 to 5 aspect ratio and now ooh, how do I want that to go for the 4 to 5 now let's go ahead and reach in the scene recompose so that it fits this particular crop I like that that looks good we can take a shot and now we know it's gonna all properly fit that once we crop that to four by five, it's composed exactly the way we want it. So powerful, right? And the overlay tool in Capture One is not limited to these crop guides. Our friend Darina at Gastrostoria and Rachel at Two Love Studio both offer composition guides to help you nail your creative compositions to get a sense of where everything should be placed based on dynamic symmetry. The overlay tool is also game changing when you're photographing for magazines or products where artwork is gonna be laid over the image and you wanna know where are the words gonna show up. For example, this client needed a picture picture of oatmeal, but obviously they have their artwork laid over it. So I asked them to send me the transparent PNG of that artwork ahead of the shoot so that I could load it into Capture One, have it overlaid over our live view, and that then we could position the oatmeal and the toppings to fit perfectly around where all of the artwork would be. And so if you need to do that, all you have to do is request the client to send you a transparent PNG file of their final artwork, and then upload it into Capture One, just like we did those crop guides. We go on over here and we go ahead and choose file. And for example, I just downloaded a fresh new magazine cover. You can make your own magazine covers over on Canva, which is what I did. I upload that into here and we can see that now overlaid over our image. So we can go ahead and actually recompose. Let's go ahead and recompose this image. Expand that out and go, oh, okay. Well, we actually want these to be kind of clear of the title. Let's move that right into there so we can see all of the pertinent artwork. Move that in, that looks great. 
take the picture, and there we have our perfectly composed magazine layout. As you can see, when precision matters, having a tool like the Crop Overlay tool can save you a lot of time, a lot of frustration, and provide you the peace of mind knowing that you got the shot. Now next up, our final tutorial in this series covers a tool that has increase my client satisfaction, and I literally flipped when I discovered that it worked, and I cannot wait to share it with you. So thank you again so much for stopping by the studio. I hope you have a fantastic day, you stay out of trouble, and I'll see you soon, all right? Bye. Favorite tools for editing? Nope. <laughs>